I've got 10 luxury bags under a thousand to show you. No joke, they're all in front of me. There is something for everyone. Hi my loves, welcome back. So if you clicked on this video and you're wondering, is it possible Mel to actually buy a luxury bag under a thousand? As you guys know, there have been quite a lot of price increases recently, especially from the big name designer brands. So I thought this video is gonna be super helpful. Plus it's been really requested by you guys. Mel, can you do an updated video on bags under a thousand dollars? So if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Mel. Thank you for joining me. I I think you'll find this video really informative because I have got all different types of bags from totes to crossbody, big, medium, small, top handles to show you. There are some brands that you're going to know and love and there are some brands you've probably never heard of because at least one or two of them I didn't even know of. And make sure you also stay tuned to the end of this video because I have part three of my 250K giveaway, but I'll go through all that at the end of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the bag and then tell you like sort of like a quick mini first impressions, like what I like, what I don't like. And this is all possible because I have partnered up in this video with Louisa Via Roma. So thank you so much to Louisa Via Roma for part sponsoring this video. So a lot of these bags bags are theirs, but I do have some of my own that I want to show you as well. These are not mine to keep. These are just borrowed, but I love that they really support my ideas. And as you guys know, I did a similar theme to this, like with card holders, I'll link it above where I did, you know, best card holders under 500. And I think it's really different when you actually have the product in hand and you can see and touch and smell it and try it on. So I'll be trying all the bags on for you and telling you what I love like, what I don't, pros, cons, and what I would personally buy. So let's get started with the very first bag. Okay, so first up is something in this bag here. So I'm going to tell you exactly what it came with and everything, but to save time, I actually did take them out, out of all, you know, the big packaging and everything. So this is from Salvatore Ferragamo, and it is this little beautiful pink top handled bag. So this is quite new for Salvatore. It has got the iconic Gancini logo, but if you didn't know, you wouldn't kind of know it's a branded bag. That's what I love about Ferragamo bags. They are pretty low key. And I really like this top handle. So this is in leather. It's like, can you hear that? It's similar to like a Saffiano. And can I just say, this really reminds me of Hermes Rose Sakura. So that is what it looks like from the front side, back, and it's got a detachable and adjustable shoulder strap. So honestly, first impressions, ooh, that's the inside. So inside is just material lined and one pocket there. And what I loved about this bag was that it sort of is the size of a mini bag, like a wok, but very importantly, it fits like a bigger sized phone. So I've got the iPhone 12 Pro, and as you can see, not a problem. And it does fit, you know, a Mac size too. So I really like that. So I think there's quite a lot of room for such a mini bag. As I go through all the bags, I will also leave the price down below for reference. So I love that it's got a top handle and the shoulder strap. So as you can see me trying it on, it's just a very, very cute bag. One con that I did pick up is Although the shoulder strap is adjustable, it is a bit more fiddly because you know how on shoulder straps, they usually have like the buckle and the pin that makes it very easy to adjust. But this one is sort of like a press stud. So this one is a little bit more fiddly. But other than that, I was pretty impressed with this cutie. Next up is something in this bag. You might not be able to read it, but yes, it does say Givenchy. And in here is a very cute 
denim bag. Now you guys know I love denim. There has been so much denim coming out in a lot of the designers. So when I was making my selection, not only did I want different shapes, different styles, but I wanted different compositions because you guys also know I love that. And I wanted to give you guys a lot more options, not just present to you the same things maybe you've seen for under a thousand. Now don't get me wrong, there are other designer bags under a thousand, which I'm not featuring, which I think are fabulous, but I'm choosing to focus on ones that you may not have seen before just to present some other alternatives. And this one here I thought was really cute when I saw it online. Now in person, I do like the denim and I don't actually don't mind the yellow Givenchy. I do like the back, how it's got, you know, it's plain and all the buttons here along the side have the little Givenchy logo. Even on the front, it does too. So if that was too much to you, it's nice to know that if you did get this, you can always turn it around and wear it that way too, with just the subtle hint of Givenchy. Now inside the bag, it has got plenty of room. It is just basically unlined. So it's got a lot of space. It's a tote, it's a small tote, but it does have this shoulder strap here. Now this shoulder strap, I can't say I love it. It's good that it's detachable, which is a positive, but I think they could have I don't know, I just don't particularly like this shoulder strap. I think it would look a lot more expensive it was if it was a chain. But then again, you can get another chain from another bag and put it on there. It is nice that it has that option though. So overall, I do think it's a really cute bag. I think it's a good option for those of you that like top handles because I think it looks the best carried top handle, but of course it's nice to have the shoulder strap option. I do think in terms of the leather, it is it's smooth leather, it is pretty durable, but it is, I think it could have been a little bit softer if I'm being really nitpicky because it's not hard or anything. I think maybe over time it'll soften up, but it does feel a little bit hard at this point. But I do like that it's got lots of space. So that's the next bag. Next up is a brand you probably have never heard of. So it came in a dust bag. It is called Little Lifner. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And in here, I'm just I've taken all the stuffing out already is this bag. So let me bring it up a little bit closer. So this is 100% leather, but what attracted me to it is that it's got a lizard embossing. You guys know I do love lizard bags, but I understand that some of you may not like it. Plus the price point is quite high, but this you get that effect. And I also thought this clasp was quite interesting. Now this brand is based in Sweden, but all their products are actually made in Italy. And I love it when bags are made in Italy because in Italy they have great craftsmanship in general. So to open the bag up, it's just a simple sort of magnetic closure and inside there are two compartments. So accordion style one, two, fabric lined with a little zip pocket here. And then if I flip the back around, I do like that it's got this compartment because you can fit your phone in there it's for easy access, as you can see. So I've just got my phone in there. And when I was reading up about this brand, as I said, because this is new to me too, they were saying that they wanted to create bags that was going to be forever pieces, but it's got a little bit of playful minimalism. I guess this sort of sums up the playful minimalism, because when I look at some of their other bags, some of them were very sculptural. Like I actually really quite liked their tulip sort of style tote. And in all their pieces, there's just that little bit of quirkiness. But if you look at the silhouette, it's still very, very classic. Like this is a bag that would stand the test of time because no one would know the brand. It's just got this little sort of uh, feature here and that's it. I can tell it is well-made even though, now this leather, it, even though it is structured, it doesn't feel hard like the Givenchy did. It sort of feels hard, but it's still supple enough. And I do prefer this sort of adjustable strap, you know, when it's just got the normal, you know, uh, belt sort of clip. So this I think mainly is to be worn as a shoulder strap bag. I think with this piece, there's might only be one or two pieces left. Oh, I completely forgot to tell you. So LVR have given me an exclusive 
uh, discount code for you guys. And it's higher than what's available on the website. So if you go to their website, it's like 30% off non-start items. But I've got 35% off for you guys, off all their non-start items. So on something like this, you can get 35% off the price. So that takes it way under the $1,000 price point. So I think this one is a pretty good one. And we know when I'm browsing, I do recommend you to download the app. It's free because sometimes they have like app only offers. And I just think it's so much easier to shop, very user friendly. So everything I mentioned, I will link down below as well as my code, but it's just MIM35 and that will entitle you to 35% off or non-start items, which is 5% better than what they have the moment. And no guys, I don't get a, a commission on that. It's just a code I'm giving to you guys. But, you know, of course I'm happy to ask because, you know, if you can get an extra 5%, why not? So yes, again, this bag I, I'm, I quite like as well. The only thing I would say is I would have probably made the strap a little bit longer because it's nice to be able to have a crossbody option. Just looking at this here, it looks like a shoulder strap bag. And although I think it looks better as a shoulder strap bag, because it's got the adjustable element, I think they should have extended it a bit longer so you can wear it crossbody and on the shoulder too. So next up is a brand you would have heard of. And normally it's a very playful brand. You can see from the bag, it is from Moschino. And I picked one of these bags because they had a lot of fun colors. So I also wanted to pick bags in different colors for you guys because we all like different colors. But this was very cute from what I saw on the website. And I still think it's very cute when I see it like this. So it is a mini bag. And this one has lots and lots and lots of, uh, holes in here. So I think you can adjust this. This is sort of like the opposite of the little lifner. You could make it a lot shorter if you wanted because it's got two buckles on either side. And yeah, that's kind of cool. That's one thing I really liked about this. And another really cool feature and also why I picked it for everyone that's name starts with an M. It's M, you know, M for Moschino, could be M for Mel, M for Matt, uh, M for Molly or Melissa, whatever your name is. It's, it's kind of nice. I, I just think it's cute. But this opening is cool. So what you have to do is pull the M open and then you open it up. So I quite like that. Inside, again, it is, yeah, it is a fabric lined. It's got one compartment here and another compartment here. So again, let me just try it with my phone. Yeah, it does fit fit my phone, no problem. I think my phone's like about 17 centimeters. So not a problem with that. This is also made in Italy. Now with this leather, uh, not everyone may like this because it is, can you tell it does not have any structure? So it's quite mushy. Like the leather still feels nice. It's in a smooth leather, but I think I would have preferred it a little bit more structured. I wonder over time, I'm not sure if over time, if if this isn't stored properly, it would get, yeah, I don't think the creasing and that would be great in this bag. So if you are planning to get this bag, you just have to make sure that you store it properly. It is a very cute bag. And like I said, I really like the fun colors in it. And I particularly, I think I particularly like the, sh the strap and how versatile it is because you can even, I think you can undo it. Can you? Yeah, you can even take the strap out because it's just threaded through here and you know, even use this as a clutch. So I think it's a very cute functional bag. This one here definitely can get the 35%. It's good for me to list the pros and the cons because if the cons don't bother you, then it's the perfect bag for you. I just ideally would like it a little bit more structured. So the next bag is a brand that you guys would have heard of because this is one of my own bags and I love them. I use them a lot. And if it's a, you know, bags under a thousand, I had to mention them because I just personally use mine heaps. But let me show you my latest color. So if you're guessing Sen Rev, you're right. This is the mini Maestra. It kind of all started with the Maestra and my love for Sen Rev really was because of the mini Maestra. I have this in various colors, but this is my latest color. For those of you that want a bag under a thousand, this is 
a lot under a thousand. I think it might be about 695 for the pebbled. But if you want to add a lighter color and you're worried in terms of color transfer or durability, this would be a really great bag because it's scratch resistant, water resistant. I've gone on and on about it. So I'm not gonna go on and on about this, but the pros of this bag is obviously you can wear it so many different ways as a backpack, crossbody on the shoulder and all that. But definitely one of the cons for those of you that don't like structured bags, you might find this too structured. In that case, I would go for the Aluna because it lies much nicer crossbody. This, you know, when you wear it on the shoulder, it can tip a bit for those of you, you know, that don't like that and you like crossbody. Either go a Luna or something else may suit you more. But for those of you that like structured bags, I absolutely love this bag. So of course I had to mention. Plus my code has been reactivated. If you're a new customer, just enter MIM80. So you get $80 off your first order. That's the highest they've given anyone. So I'll just put it in the description bar below. But if you're an existing customer, MIM50 off still works too. So the next bag I picked is from Balenciaga. So in here, this bag is not in, you know, the discount code doesn't work on Balenciaga. Balenciaga is always excluded from the promo, but it is, it does retail under a thousand USD. So this one here is in canvas. I do love a good canvas bag. It's a mix of different types of canvas and even leather on the corners and on the handle. Now, one thing. I really don't like about this is, you know how I was complaining about the Givenchy, how that handle wasn't, it was okay, but this is such a flimsy handle. Like I do not like this shoulder strap at all. That is definitely a con. And plus it's just sort of like looped through. I feel like there wasn't much thought given to this just this particular shoulder strap. I wouldn't use that shoulder strap, but I do like the tote. I like that it's just really simple with Balenciaga on the front. No other embellishments. It's just a really cute functional top handle bag. I like it that, you know, it's got a big opening. You can wear it this way, but I just would not use this little flimsy shoulder strap. I would use my own. I also really do like that it even comes with its own little pouch here. Usually a tote needs to be a lot bigger before it comes with a little free, you know, pouch. So I do like that. And inside here, there's no point showing you because it's just going to look like one big black hole. It's just all fabric lined. So it has got ample room. It's a small tote, but it will fit everything. And I also do like that it's got these buttons. So you can actually, you know, make it look more squared like that. Or you can nip it in like that. So that feature I really like. I just think that if they had done a better, you know, strap, it would have been perfect. But like the shape, just, yeah, don't like this shoulder strap. Next up is one of my own bags and I have been asked a few questions about this bag and I actually really like it plus it's under the $1,000 price mark and it is this little cutie here. So this is actually from a brand called Lancel. They're a French brand. They've been around for ages. I think they have like maybe a 140 year history. I did visit this brand when I was in Paris and got shown around and I really actually like their products. So this bag here, again, it's very small. It's called the Ninon. So to open it up, you actually have to pull down and then up. It looks more complicated than it is. It's got this fabulous uh, red material lining, a zip pocket here, and inside it's got the red lining. It does fit my iPhone as well, and it's got another pocket. And it even has a little pocket at the back, though you probably only could put, put yeah, you could fit your phone that way. So this bag here, you can remove the top handle, which I really like. And it does have Lancel on top of this strap as well. In terms of the shoulder strap, it is not adjustable, but it is super comfortable though. See, with this leather, it's, it's just so much more supple. And I just think that makes it a lot more comfortable when you're wearing it on the shoulder or cross body. So for my fellow Victorians or Melburnians, they do have a store in the Emporium in the city. Yeah, I just think it's a very, very cute bag. It even, can you see the zipper? It even has this little 
weird button here. I'm not really sure what that does. I think it's just a design feature, but I think it's cute. Now, the only thing I can say that's a little bit annoying is that you do need to get used to like opening it up. Like if you're not used to it, like to open it up, it's not just like a simple magnetic closure. It definitely keeps the bag very secure though. That's good, but it is a little bit, you just have to get used to opening and closing the bag up. Next up is a brand I have mentioned on my channel before. I actually own one of their bags, but I'm not showing you the one I own because I wanted to show you this one. So it is from the brand Boy. I really like their thick dust bags. Little things like that I do notice in terms of the packaging. And it is this style. This style is called the Bobby. So you guys know I own one of these in a, the slightly larger size in the green. But this one here, I just love. You know me, I love, you know, when there's a bit of mixture and materials. So it's in this beautiful smooth leather. And then this is in some sort of fabric, but it's called macrame, which is just like, it's sort of just like knotted. It's the technique of knotting all of this. Now I love the contrast stitching and I love little things like with their shoulder strap, it even comes in a separate dust bag. So points to boy for so far, the nicest packaging. And in terms of the shoulder strap, it is nice and thick. It actually feels really luxurious, but I can tell that if you wanna attach it on, just looking at this, I wish in terms of attaching it, they just made a simple clippy feature where you can clip in. This one here, you've got to kind of like align it in the right spot and then put it in. I'm sure you can, like if I do it like this, let's see how long it takes me. Okay. So it took me a little bit, but yes, you can clip it on, but you know what I mean? Like it would be a lot easier if it was just a clippy thing, but I guess when you know where it is, it's, it's quite easy to attach on there. So that you can wear as a shoulder strap. And then what's really quite nifty about this is they've got a couple of press studs inside the bag. And as you can see on the strap, there's that. So you can even shorten it even more, which is nice. I love the buckle feature. That's very synonymous with the boy brand. So, and look at this, look at their authenticity card. Like you can actually feel, you know, like braille, you can kind of like feel that. I like that. And yes, absolutely. It does fit, you know, my phone in there with lots of space. So in terms of how they've made this, I'm pretty impressed. I do like how they've made it. On the bottom, they've even got little feet. I do like that. A lot of bags, they've taken the feet off now. So one thing with Boy is that you can find them at really good prices. Any ones that I can find that are on sale, I will link down below. But this is a special one that they created just for Louisa V Aroma. So you only can find it there and I really like it. So it's brand spanking new season. It's just beautiful with the burgundy. It comes in black as well, but I just really love the burgundy in this mix. So in terms of cons, the only thing I can say is that I wish they made it a little bit easier to attach the shoulder strap. So next up is a very well-known brand. I still consider it a luxury. I know it's sometimes referred to as contemporary, but I've seen their price points sort of go up the last couple of years. It's a very popular brand. It comes in this dust bag. You may be able to tell, but yes, I also picked a Tory Birch bag. So this is a camera style bag. So I, as I said, I wanted to pick different silhouettes and camera style bags are really popular. And this is from their new fall winter collection, but they also do it in their sort of Tory Birch monogram and in different colors. I actually really like the yellow. The yellow you can get 35% off, but because this just hit, you can't. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like. So I really like this tan. So that is what the front looks like with one zipper compartment here. The back is plain and I've already gone ahead and attach the shoulder strap, but yes, the shoulder strap is adjustable as well. So you can wear it cross body or just on the shoulder. What I do like about this camera bag and makes it a little bit different from other camera bags, it's that it's got this sort of handle. So you know, like the pochette Matisse handle, it's got that. And I do actually like the contrast cream stitching. I think that is always really nice on tan. So if I open the bag up, 
inside there is just it's in sort of like a micro suede lining oh that's nice it's got one zip pocket and it's got one other pocket here in leather so it's not just all fabric so i do quite like that it's got ample space so for those of you that do like camera styles i think this could be a good option not to mention i think this is the best priced bag out of the whole lot definitely under 500 so there are some really nice bags out there and one thing to note when i'm looking at this in the light i can actually see all the veins in the leather and that is something natural it's not a fault but yeah you can just see that this has veins in there but it's all smooth you can't sort of feel any lumps or bumps and it's got feet that's a plus so the only con if it is a con, but I do need to mention, so far all the bags that I have mentioned have been either made in Italy or France or, you know, in a European country. With Tory Birch, they are made in, well, this particular bag anyway, is made in Vietnam. Like that doesn't bother me, but I think it's important to mention as well. I do think it's quite a cute camera bag. The leather, I'm not sure how well it will hold up, but if you guys own this bag, let me know. I do think it feels, it feels quite nice. I can't say it feels like the best leather I felt, but I think for the price point, it's pretty good. Next up is an alternative for those of you that I keep getting asked this question, what are some alternatives to the Neverfull? So this is from Ferragamo. I actually do own a few Ferragamo bags and I really enjoy them. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to pick this. And it is the Ferragamo Gancini tote. And I have to say, when I got this out of the box, I really like it. I really liked the pebbled leather. I'm really hoping by the time this video goes live, because this one you can get 35% off as well. I think there was only one or two units left, but if not, they also have the same one. I think it's got a few units left as well in the gorgeous monogram as well. But I wanted to pick the leather one because I don't know, this black one just spoke to me. So, it's got the classic lock. So to open it up, you do need to sort of push it open like that. And then inside, yes, it also does come. Oh, how cute. It does come with this little pouch similar to the Neverfull. But interestingly, this is in smooth leather and this is in grained leather. So that's kind of nice to have that little bit of textural difference. And it's got, you know, Salvatore made in Italy, like the little stamps there. I think that's very, very cute. Inside is got all stuffing, but it's got ample room. It's actually in sort of like a micro suede lining and no other pockets inside but it just feels soft but structured as well it also does not have any feet so that's probably like does the neverfull have feet no the neverfull doesn't have feet too for a con i would say it would be nice to have feet because for such a big tote you do you do need to sit this down you can't have this sitting in your lap if you're having lunch you know what i mean but the leather is gorgeous so if you've been looking for you know you don't like the neverfull or you need a tote bag this is a good alternative i actually really really like the leather smells nice too so those are the 10 bags but i've got a couple of honorable mentions because i wanted to include a couple of fun pieces a lot of the bags that i mentioned are a bit more classic in shape or a bit more understated which are great because you know if it's your first bag or you know you want to buy a bag usually you want it to last a bit longer and yes sometimes trends can be a bit fatty but for me in particular for my collection you guys know i love classics i love trend pieces i love color so reflecting that I also wanted to pick a variety for you guys too. Now check out this one. So this is from Alexander Wang. It came in this box, but it didn't come in a dust bag, which was interesting. I picked this because I thought, you know what? You know me, I'm not into belt bags. Look what I picked. This bling bling belt bag. Now, I didn't think that I would like it. I just picked it because I know, you know, like the LV bum bags have been popular. A lot of the other bum bags have been popular, but I have to admit, this really only can be worn as, you know, crossbody, but I really like it. I was surprised I liked it. It does not hold much. If you have a smaller sized iPhone, it actually can fit in here. But unfortunately, my phone 
it's just a touch too big. So that is definitely one con. And the back has this zip pocket. Wow, is this leather so luxurious? Like this leather, I have to say, you can just tell it's quality. It's 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 gorgeous. And the bling bling, all the crystals, I, I know it's very extra. It's not low key at all. But if you like mini bags and you want something really different, check this out. The one that I would probably get, because I still love the blinginess of this, is they actually have, I'll put a picture up here, this sort of top handled version. So it gives me sort of like the Prada crystal vibes, but at a much better price point. So yeah, that is the one that I wanted to pick just to show you something fun, but how edgy does it look like this? I'm, I'm tempted to get it, but I'm like, would you use it, Mel? I don't know. But sometimes you just have to buy what you love, not always what is the sensible thing. Of course, you should buy sensible too, but I'm just saying sometimes it's okay to have a couple of trendy pieces in your collection. And the last honorable mention goes to another really well-priced brand. I own a couple of pieces from them. You guys are super divided in your opinion. So I decided to show you this. It is from Colt Gaia. This is one of the bags that I do own from them. It is their pearl clutch, super architectural. This is not gonna hold a phone. This is really a talking piece. It is a statement bag. You guys know Sunshine hates this. Hubby doesn't mind it. Miss S is like, hmm, not her fave, but she doesn't hate it but I just loved it. There are a couple of bags I made the exception for in terms of not fitting a phone, but because Cult Gaia is priced so well and they often have sales, I think they might even have a sale now. They always come up with quite you know, sculptural or arty pieces, see-through acrylic. So in terms of materials, if you want to add something fun, and it's, I think most of them might even be under 500, I do recommend Cult Guy. So I wanted to add them too, because in terms of different compositions, they're a good one to check out. Okay, so if you're asking for my top recommendations and what I personally would buy, I actually really liked this cutie. I'm really thinking about getting it. I also liked, while I was checking this out, Louisa V. Roma also uh, had just had new reductions. And I actually really liked this sort of rounded bag because I don't have many bags in that sort of rounded shape. So maybe this or that. And yes, I'll be using my own, you know, discount code on there. So I do like Ferragamo bags. I do think they are underrated. I think they're made in Italy. They're really good and their leather is really, really good. So that's one that I would definitely get. Now, don't be shocked guys but I'm seriously loving this okay I I know it might be completely useless and you're like Mel what are you thinking I don't know it's just something fun about it maybe I'll wait to see what the crystal one looks like because I'm not even a bum bag kind of person but this one completely surprised me the other one that I'm really thinking of getting but I do own already is actually the boy I, I think this one overall was just so well made and I really love a mix of materials so those are sort of like what I would get but look everyone is different that's why I wanted to show you a variety so you can pick, you know, you weigh out the pros and cons and then you've seen them, what they look like on me and you can see, you know, what's going to suit me. But all these bags are under a thousand. Don't forget to use my code MIM35. It does work on, I think, about half of these bags, but check out the site. It works on everything as well. And now let's talk about my part three of my giveaway. So you guys know I've been working with Louisa V Aroma for a while now, and they also knew I hit 250K. So they wanted to partner up with me on this. So as the theme of this video is luxury bags under a thousand, we are going to be giving away a $1,000 Louisa V Aroma gift card. So you can pick whatever bag you want as well, or you could use it for something else, whatever you may want. But how good is that? So all you need to do is make sure you follow me, which I think a lot of you do already. Secondly, make sure you download the app. I'll have the link below. It's totally for free. If you shop on Louisa V Aroma, it's actually easier shopping on the app. I find anyway. And then three, comment below out of all the bags I've shown, including the honorable mentions, 
which was your favorite. And don't forget to leave your email or your IG name so it's easier for me to contact you if you win. And the giveaway is open now and will run in two weeks. And guess what, guys? I have another mini surprise. Since I didn't even know Louisa Villaroma wanted to partner up with me on this giveaway, I'm actually going to be extending my celebrations and going to be doing a part four for 250K giveaway. How good is that? So it's just exciting. You know, I love you guys. I love giving back. I hope you found this video informative and helpful and it helps those of you that want to either buy your first designer bag or just want to add a different brand to your collection because sometimes variety is the spice of life. Well, for some people anyway, I like a variety in my collection. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you soon in my next video. Stay safe guys. Bye.